Hi everybody, welcome to your weekly angel card reading here at Beacons of Angel Light. This is for the week beginning July, sorry, June 26, 2017 to July 2nd. So we're already done with the sixth month of the year, it's crazy, and we're entering now the second the second half of the game, <laughs> so to speak. And, um, you know, like this year, at the beginning of the year, if you guys have been with me, I was talking last year in December, I was talking about rough start, I was talking about a rocky start, I was talking about, you guys can even check back on the videos if you want to, you know, that's that's pretty cool to, to go in reverse and, and like, you know, kind of in hindsight for a second and really see how you've progressed because it's a personal journey, guys. So I'm inviting you to not check my work, but check your own work, you know? And so it was a rock, rock, rocky start to things. And, um, well, we have a bunch of planets that are gone direct right now. Like, as if to say, planets have aligned in our favor, finally. And um, we have amazing Jupiter in Libra. Jupiter is like big money. He's very um, expansive and makes things um, larger. So, and, and Libra is like the social butterfly. Libra is the one who likes to socialize and, you know, make contacts and... Uh, smooth things over and and make everybody happy type of deal um, so that coupled with Jupiter is a phenomenal type of energy for business for entrepreneurship for making the right contacts so get out there and do it carpe diem now is the time um, we also just had a new moon in cancer um, if you guys want to hear more in depth about it, Kelly Rosano is the man. I love her. <laughs> I call her the man because she's just, she's really um, profound with her astrology there. Um, in that video, she even has a little crab. I was talking about it. So I was listening to the video, and that reminds me. I was listening to the video, and uh, I was driving to the supermarket, the video glitched and I had to look down at my phone and it was 4, 4, 4.44, that was the time. And I was like, okay, angels are with me. And I go to the supermarket, come to find out earlier on in the day, I had lost my ATM card at the machine during my lunch break at work. <sighs> Space cake, right? Typically Trudy. And so, um, but I didn't fret the way that I normally would have. Um, actually, the guy who was at the cashier ringing me up was more nervous than I was and it was weird I was like no it's okay it's gonna be fine I was calming him down oddly and I went to the bank and I emptied out my bag it was crazy all the amount of things that I had in there embarrassing crystals out the wazoo and no no card no ATM card um so we went to go look it up in the database to go cancel it and it had already been cancelled which is what the angels were assuring me of that everything was fine everything had already been taken care of 444 angels are around um so on that note i, I like want to tell you guys and invite you guys about the the new moon because we also have pluto in retrograde still coming out of that energy um mars so there's like a lot of deep aspects of the self that are emerging from everyone right now and it's a difficult time and it's like going out there feels like, ugh, you know, at least for me, I don't know, maybe you guys are feeling the same way. And so it's a great time to dive in to how you influence the situation with your own personal vibration, your light worker, higher vibration, your capacity to rise above the smoke and see things for what they truly are. Um, so on that note, I really do want to pick one card here from this deck before we go into the whole reading and sorry that it's taking so long. Um, so I want to start with this one. This is Keepers of the Light Oracle Cards by Kyle Gray. Oh, and I had already picked a card. That's funny. 
I'm going to read it because I had already picked it. Um, this was earlier on today, and they're telling me that this needs to be put into sound vibration, so I'm just going to go ahead and say it. Um, Moki's deck. I'm going to show you the card here. And this guy is also mentioned in Genesis in the Bible. If you notice behind him, he's got the flower of life, that's sacred geometry. Um, and I feel like a lot of us have been some in that direction. That's really funny. Um, so, you know, if you're seeing flecks of purple or you're seeing the sacred geometry in all forms of life, you are a student of this. But let's, let's see more about this because this has to do with higher learning. The card itself says, you have learned from experience more inner study is now required to further progress, which is what I was talking about. Um, Malkis, sorry I'm not familiar with this deck, but you know, I'm a work in progress, as we all are, I guess. Um, okay, Melky's deck. Uh, ch -ch 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 -ch. He appears with a bright light around him along a white light beard to match his ancient high priest ways. Said to have had his own light-filled priests who are able to help, help spiritual people develop their gifts and qualities. As he works on higher energetic levels, he can connect, we can connect with him through sacred geometry by focusing on ancient star-shaped symbols. And this is exactly what I was talking about beforehand, so that's funny. Um, so here's the extended message. This is where it gets good. You've learned so much to this point. And you're learning more every day. You are recognizing all the great lessons your experiences and challenges have brought to you and are have been brought to you and are preparing for a transition or inner ascension where you will move beyond another level of fear into the inner sanctum. Yeah, sanctum of your heart and soul. Become aware of patterns, ancient symbols, and signs being sent to you from the universe. There is a sense that you are now able to focus in a new way and offer great light to the world. Melchizedek and his order are with you now, leading you towards spiritual wisdom. Meditate and connect with their light. So, um... That's the card. <laughs> I'm not going to shuffle this deck live. I had already done it. I had done it in the car, oddly enough. And I thought that I was meant to post that online, um, like on a picture post. But it was meant for you guys. So, now on with Dorian Virtue and Raleigh Valentine Angel Cards. Oh, and they're reminding me. Sorry. I'm like all over the place. But I have been hanging out with my beautiful sorry I'm gonna let my hair down because this is something that I recommend for you guys so even like today I spent the day just hanging out I, I didn't go outside I know normally I would be outside um, but today I was doing things at the home like sketching um, corners and just all kind of home stuff and I've been hanging out with the selenite inside of my bun so you can put crystals inside of your hair or you can take them to your third eye you know put them on your crown um, hang out with them in your bras like I do um, I have more <laughs> in my bra so yeah um, but I really wanted to talk to you guys about selenite because this one is like a cleansing um, and I've been smudging with Palo Santo in specific, I picked some at a local botanica. I'm not into Santeria, but the botanica is rich with lots of herbs and things that are um, very important and useful for healing, um, not only, you know, spiritually, but also, you know, physically. Um, you can make teas out of them and baths and ointments and all kinds of different things. Um, so Palo Santo is really awesome. And I've also been hanging out with this awesome, this is a gift. Um, and so is that deck that I used, two separate individuals, which 
reminds me how fortunate I am. So thank you, you guys, and universe, and everyone for this shared journey. Um, and so this is a blue, oh, blue agate, I forgot. Swiss cheese memory syndrome. Anyway, the whole thing is, it's very soothing. It's a throat chakra stone and also a third eye stone. Um, and it's very soothing and calming. And that's kind of necessary at this time to allow the inner child to emerge and to be relaxed about things and not take things so seriously. That's what this moon is about. Um, so I'm going to speed it along and pick us some cards here. Book fell down because we don't need it. <laughs> psh, psh, psh. So let's see what we got. That's it? Okay. Um, this is from Guardian Angels, from Everyone's Guardian Angel. This has to do with what I was talking about, Jupiter. A successful, profitable time. Entrepreneurship, guys. This is the time. He's the king of earth, and that's him sitting there on the throne. That's us. I don't know if there's too much glare, but look up the card. The king of earth, and it's by Dorian Virtue and uh, Rally Valentine Angel Tarot cards. They're very popular cards. Um, but it's a successful time to confidently accept opportunities that are presented to you because it's like you're feeling like maybe you're not capable of it. Yes, you are. This is the time to thrive and persevere and give yourself the real opportunity that you've never given yourself to spread your wings. So do it. Um, and then let's see what archangels we got. Okay, there's two. Two. All right. There's a lot of new viewers. So welcome and thank you for tuning in, for staying in as long as you have. Archangel Michael wants to welcome you as well. Archangel Michael says it's the world. And compared to regular tarot, this is like the wheel of fortune turning in your favor. The world is at the tip of your fingers and take advantage of it. It's a great time. Job well done, contentment, joy. Um, gratitude and the path of enlightenment you're on the path the spiritual path you're conscious you're awakened you understand you overstand so all that to your advantage use it wield it and don't stop you know um, so Archangel Michael is definitely willing eager and happy to assist I love that he's got the infinity sign above his crown chakra as do we as do we all um, number 21, I love Lucky 21. So, um, and then we got Archangel Metatron, and I was talking about sacred geometry. Oh my gosh, they're making my whole face itch. Um, so beautiful. So, Archangel Metatron, if you look him up on Google, he is the angel of sacred geometry. He is the keeper of the Book of Deeds. He's like the keeper of the secrets of God. He's really intense, and he is here for us this particular week. He comes in as the chariot, the charioteer. When you think of the Roman charioteer, you think of, you know, conquering over difficult odds and really persevering and, you know, like just lightning, thunder, velocity, high honor, achievement, ambition, all of that, and conquering. So um, this is a lot of self-discipline and willpower. So this is the time to show yourself what your worth is. Public rec recognition is going to come along with this, guys. This is an intense week. Take advantage of it. I love you all. Love yourselves. Love everyone in your sphere. Have a wonderful week. Mwah. And sign, um, you know, <laughs> make sure that you click to subscribe. All right. I love you all. Have a great week.